In this video will show you how to add fractions. Adding fractions can seem complicated, and at times it can be, but we'll show you how to simplify it. So the easiest type of fraction is when the bottom number or the denominator is the same, like this example. We have 2 fifths plus 1 fifth. Since the denominator is the same, they're both fifths, we can just add them together. So we add 2 plus 1, we keep the denominator the same, and we get the answer 3 fifths. Now it can get a little bit more complicated. So we look at this next equation. We have 1 quarter plus 1 half. Now we have different denominators, so we can't just add these together. So it's pretty easy with this one. We can see that we can turn our 1 half into quarters by multiplying our top and bottom number by 2. So we get 4 on the bottom and 2 on the top. Now we have 1 quarter plus 2 quarters. We can just add those together since they're both quarters, and we get 3 quarters. Now this is where it can get more complicated, where we can't easily tell how to multiply one number to get the other. So we can find the least common denominator, but I'll show you an easier trick. So all we need to do with any of these equations, and you could have done this for the first two if you wanted to, we're going to multiply the denominators together. So in this case, we're going to take 4 times 5, and we'll get 20. Then we're going to start in the top left corner. And this will be important when we try to do subtraction later on. But we start in the top left, and we're going to multiply diagonally across with the other denominator. So 3 times 5 gives us 15. Now we're going to do the same thing with the 1 and the 4. Multiplying across gives us 4. Now we add these two things together, and we get 19 twentieths. And that answer is correct, and it's in its simplest form. Now you can run into trouble with adding and subtracting fractions when your answer isn't as simple as it could be. So take, for example, 1 tenth and 1 fourth. We can't just add these together, so we're going to multiply across like we did in our last example, and we get 40. Now we have, we have a 1 on top, so 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 10 is 10, adding 4 and 10 across the top, we get 14. Now that while this answer is correct, it's not yet simplified, because this can be divided into a smaller number. So both the top and the bottom can be divided by 2, giving us 7 twentieths. Now that's our correct answer and most simplified answer. Now lastly, I'm going to give you an example problem. So I'm not going to give you the answer to this. I'll put it in the show notes so you can check your math. But we'll take 1 third plus 2 sevenths. Now remember, all you need to do here is multiply across the bottom, multiply diagonally, follow the symbol in the middle, add them together, and you've got your answer. Just make sure you simplify if you have to. So hopefully that helped you learn how to add fractions. And now try subtracting fractions with this next video. Just click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more how-to videos like this one. Leave your comments, thanks, and good luck.